Hi guys, it's Mel here from Mel W Scrapping. You have to excuse my voice. I'm going to do a layout for May I Scrap Lift to You for Day 2, which is Jody. I'm going to do one of Jody's layouts from Floppy Head Farm um, on YouTube and on Instagram. Jody did this layout last month um, for Poi Wayne to Our Hearts. And as soon as I saw the video, I loved it. So this is... And I really wanted to have a go at it. So this is it. She's sort of like made a pour in the background. And I'm going to have a go at this, recreating this. So I've picked out, I had a scrap of this paper. And literally it was a scrap because I'd already taken some things out. Um, so I had a scrap of that. And I did... Heart out of my creative memories and the inside oval circle here. So what we're going to do now is I think Jodie did packaging technique around here. That's actually up a bit high. I actually need it to be there. Um, I'm going to do some blending because you guys know I like to blend. I'm going to pick these up. And I'm going to blend. I'm going to use feathered uh, peacock feathers. It's kind of my favourite colour and I wanted an aquarium colour in the background. I'm just going to go like this. Quick and easy. So I didn't want to actually do anything wet. So I've got a bit of asmarin. I'm coughing so much the last week or so. I um, don't have much of a voice left. I think that's all I want to do. Okay, now. I've got two stencils. I've got some dots down here I'll pop. And I'm going to do this in worn lipstick. I'm just going to go... that side. I'm going to get the warm warm lipstick again. I'm going to go like that. And then we'll do splatters at the end. This should come together quite quickly because I think when you have an idea in your head and you know that this is something you have really wanted to do. It kind of just comes together. Voice or no voice. Yesterday I just, I wasn't happy with the layout I did of Jen's um, sketch. And I still may redo it yet. Because, I don't know, just something about it just wasn't singing to me. Coming about there. If they fit, no, they don't fit. So I need that one to go there. So we'll go about that to make the poor print. I don't know if I'll be able to get those. Um, yeah, yesterday I, I was in a bit of a bad way yesterday. And I think when you're not feeling the best, your scrapbooking really shows it. Whereas today I feel so much better. Doesn't sound it, but I do feel so much better. Stick up photo on. Now, our dog was an outside dog. Um, she had her own bed at the back door and everything. But in winter, 
um, when we had, this was before Danina, my daughter, was even born. In winter, she get, we noticed that as she was getting older, she was getting really cold. And so my husband would let her come in and have her warm by the fire and then go and put her straight into her kennel at night so that she was all snuggled up in there and warm. And because we get, here in Tasmania, we get extremely cold winters. Not to the point of snow, but probably not as cold as what America would, but when it comes winter, but to us it's freezing. Um, you know, we can get all the way down to minus three Celsius. And down here, minus three Celsius is like, um, oh, I don't know how you would describe it. It's like you're at, it's like you're in the snow, but with no snow. So, um, and like it can be white as white outside of a morning, but it's frost, not snow. Anyway, so she'd be allowed to come in at night on the really cold, cold nights. Um, and then Darren would take her straight out to her kennel. Oh, I don't want to cover that part up, do I? And um, she'd be curled up in front of the fire and then the cat would come and curl up in between her. It was so funny. And she just, and sometimes the cat would come along and play with the tail. The dog would just sit there and let her do it like. Silly dog. But they loved each other. <clears throat> and I got these gorgeous puppy things in my mini swap yesterday um, that I do with Ginger's Corner. And I thought I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> these were made by Kathy, um, who is Kathy loves loves to scrap on YouTube. And she's part of our Australian team and she's made these puppy things. And I thought, this is just going to make the most awesome layout. Um, so that's what I wanted to do up here. I think, um, where's that piece of paper? Jodie might have had a bit of paper up there as well. So I might just make a banner out of this paper. Why not? Let us just go like that. Just tear the rest apart. I think I've got some pink, so let's use some of that pink as well. Go about that. And we'll go like that. I'll stick a couple of banners up there. Sorry. Work, did it? My hands are a bit shaky today. That's from all the puffers. But I had to get a handle on it at some some point because I was to the point of nearly. I was telling my mum today. I was to the point of nearly calling an ambulance yesterday. So. Started taking the steroids. Might go like that actually. 
they are. Probably don't see this one as much, but oh well. And I'm happy with that. So let's get some. Let's just go a couple of little rhinestones. And we'll go down there. And then we'll just splatter it with the blue. And I'm done. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Sometimes simple is best. No need to over embellish. And I think it looks fantastic if I don't say so myself. Okay, so if you'd like to have a go at something like this, please by all means press pause, take a screenshot and have a go. At the same time, if you do like what I've come up with, if you give me a thumbs up, that'd be really fantastic. Thank you and appreciate it. I will pop the playlist down below in the description box for you to go and check out everyone who's playing along. I will pop Jodie's Facebook, uh, not Facebook, her YouTube channel um, link in as well as her Instagram. Uh, go and check her out show her some love. And the same with the other ladies that are playing along. If you're not subscribed to them already, please do. It doesn't cost to subscribe, like, or comment to anyone on YouTube. And with saying that, if you're new to my channel, I hope I've done enough for you to consider subscribing. I'm going to stop talking now. Happy scrapping, stay safe, and see you in the next one. Bye for now.